happens let's talk about technical requirement for cadastre survey these are the topic we'll cover in this video approaches of cadastre survey sporadic versus systematic we'll see that then free sheet versus trigonometrical control sheet isolated versus seamless cadastre other will be addresses on next videos we already know that cadastre cadastre survey and cadastre system cadastre is a set of all the records regarding it could be map register field book plot register file map parcel map and the cadastre survey is the process of surveying the land measurement of the land below and above the surface of the earth and the cadastre system is the overall system which includes cadastre survey and cadastre and the four essential elements of a cadastre surveying and mapping are first we have to adjudication of a right in a land we have to verify the owner and its legal rights then we can delimit and monument that property and then perform a survey surveying activities first we will prepare cadastre map then we'll prepare other documents such as field book terrace plot register approaches of cadastre survey this is done in a two ways and in case of nepal it is done two ways or in case of world it is done in a two ways sporadic which is random and systematic in case of a world it has been started from 19th century or mid of the 19th century and in case of nepal in the year 1964 ad the measurement act was launched officially and then after uh, 1965 the cadastre work surveying work in a systematic way begins and there are two free sheet and trigonometrical control sheet and uh, also the cadastre data are isolated and seamless let's begin cadastre is a system of registering land properties based on cadastre map ownership document and fair taxation and the cadastre registration system has two types sporadic and systematic they are similar as well as difference related to their technical procedure legal document and registration between these two types when introducing a new system of a land registration or land titling it should be consider which is appropriate whether it is sporadic or systematic sporadic system is a system it is a case by case basis usually it triggers it started when the sale of a property or something conflict between owners then it randomly goes there on a particular land and settle that issue by adjudication surveying land delineation and monumentation and documentation this is usually based on specific action like action of the owner if he needs to sell the property or register it then it is done and it's uh, it's not a systematic it's a random process and uh, it was done in a 1925 at the first time in england and wales and in nepal context after the uh, 2019 land measurement act was officially introduced and then implemented then in the year 2021 bs the systematic cadastre survey begins sporadic has some of the criticism it is less expensive compared to the systematic but uh, it has disadvantages if uh, we compare in a one parcel cost then it is expensive 
if the intention is to register whole country parcel, all the parcel, then it will not be cheaper. It will be cheaper in terms of where the land is left or due to dispute or any conflict land has been not registered then it's good to go there in a random way and survey and uh, register that particular then it is ex less expensive but uh, if you have to do a whole country then it will be more expensive the process is always not transparent and uh, it's uh, like it could be like uh, in Nepal, people used to keep their land without registering it, not to pay their tax to the country. Mukhya or Chaudhary of this choose not to survey there. It won't be survey and anyone does not know about that land existence. So this is not transparent systematic registration this registration is the systematic approach for adjudication serving registering parcel on area by area basis it is relatively expensive but in a long run it will be cheaper Typically, large number of parcel being deal with although on a per parcel basis the average cost per parcel may be significantly lower than with sporadic registration systematic registration has many beneficial like it will be complete and it provides a complete information it will be transparent effective quick supporting different transaction and cost and also increase the security of ownership and reduce transaction cost according to the FIC, which is given in 1995 Thank you very much.